little bit more in order to stop Markowski. Maggie Tiemann, Timothy Daly, Carla Fountain, the officials, two teams that didn't make the NCAA tournament last year back in the big dance. Jazz Shelley played with an enormous level of swagger and confidence in that Big Ten tournament. They go to Markowski. That is what she does. But that's what the Cornhuskers want to do. They're going to force the Aggies to take tough outside shots. KK Jones on the floor. She was also on that team. There's KK Green. Corner three. It goes down. A very experienced veteran player. Down low, a quick answer. And Jazz Shelley able to leak to the rim off a nice feed. You cannot sleep here. Just an excellent pass from Potts to Shelley. Only location in the entire bracket with four teams that did not make the tournament last season. It's going to be resiliency location. Down low, Potts. Continue on in this dance. Barker with space. Gave her too much space. A team that doesn't rely on the three, but are more than capable of hitting one. Plenty of time, whips it down low to Stewart. And she's able to get the shooter's roll, the senior from Minnesota. She has a lot of respect for this Nebraska team. Corner three, look, goes down for Logan Nisley. Continues her hot start. Nisley, one of the best freshmen in the Big Ten this year. At 13 points in that Big Ten title loss to Iowa. How about a quick answer at the opposite end from MJ Johnson, that Big Ten all freshman. As the task of guarding Barker, not easy, and that's why. And one coming up for Janiah Barker. Hill, that's just the name of the game here, and who better to do it than Janiah Barker? And one big body. She loves it. Momentum play here for the Aggies. And they got on the glass, so nothing less. She brought that right over to College Station, Texas. Nice step through from White, and how about that roll with the left hand? Sahara Jones curls around Markowski. Extra pass, Williams. Will this one go down for? It will. Needed momentum, which is really what the Aggies are going to need. Someone get a step up and hit outside shot. Williams' first NCAA tournament game. Markowski, not her first NCAA tournament experience. Barker shovels it out. Sahara Jones. Rounding off on that three. Five-point game. It's felt so tight. That three will extend the Nebraska lead, though. Difference. Nebraska living by the three, and they are doing it because of Nisley. Corner three, look who it is again. Logan Nisley continues her NCAA tournament debut party. You gotta make the defense pay for their lap. And now up top, Moriarty! Another Husker three. She's red hot right now. Mitch Strong, Markowski, tenacious on the offensive glass. Goes right to the rim and puts it off the glass and down. Markowski, a, a walking double-double all season. That's starting to creep in. Nice spin move in the lane, and here's Kulabali starting to discover her rhythm. Markowski searching. It's Coley trying to get on the scoreboard, and does from long distance. Another Minnesota native on this Nebraska roster. Shelly dribbled it off her foot. Corralled by Barker, up to Koulibaly. Coley's back, but Koulibaly, and one! And they get the stop here, Koulibaly. Just great switching sides, being able to connect, drawing the foul. Watch out for Ole Miss. Remember Coach Yo and Ole Miss made a run last season. Yep, knocked off Stanford, upset Stanford in Palo Alto. There's a three there from Koulibaly. Disagreements over defensive positioning. Happens every now and then. Down low. That's been happening a lot. Koulibaly scoring. Hey, Green able to save it. Ten on the shot clock. Koulibaly's been red hot. Another, another three it is as well. Back to a seven-point game. Table, one of their best scorers all season. Koulibaly's been their best scorer in this game. To MJ Johnson. Cashes in. All net. Five-point game. We haven't seen her. She's not a go-to player offensively, but that's her job right there. 
to make Markowski's life miserable, but to be able to step up and hit a shot. Wow, they made that shot very tough for Alexis Markowski. Parker, step back. Oh, it was online. Another three for Texas A&M. Four-point game. Everybody looking to connect and get a piece from beyond the arc. And an Aggie team that doesn't make a ton of threes. Shelly, nice one-legged fade. Crafty from the Aussie. Brown. A lot of work to do, though, over the final five minutes to get to that point. Green opts to drive. That's what you wanted to see them do more of. Green went down, immediately grabbing her leg, though. Shot, have another look at it. Couldn't see her coming down on the angle there, but have another look at it. Definitely on the landing here. Yeah, landed right there. Oh, Barker the board. Now opposite away, Koulibaly is such a threat in transition. Two-point game. White calling forward a player with a ton of experience, the grad student. They go down low to Markowski, their bread and butter. Couldn't finish, Potts there, blocks. Barker got a piece of that. Uh, that championship game against Iowa, will they be able to close out? That's they, the player right there, yep. Got to get it to Markowski. 35 seconds to go. You got to attack Potts. Potts got four fouls. Barker doubled on the baseline. Back out to Rodgers. 22 seconds left. Rodgers will take it for the lead. Off the mark. Following up is Koulibaly. Count that. And she was fouled with a chance to go to the line and give Texas A&M the lead. Koulibaly, the absolute X factor. Miss here from Rodgers. You don't give up on the play. The tip in, the contact, able to connect. It is Koulibaly who has been unstoppable, giving the Aggies the lead. Biggest free throw she's ever taken in the Texas A&M uniform right here. And she hits it. Gives Texas A&M their first lead since they were up 11 to 10 in the first quarter. And advancing it here into the front court, Shelly. The veteran guard, did they get a foul away from the ball? Looks like they did on KK Green. Such a pivotal part of their offense in the opening half. as 14 points on the day. In her first NCAA tournament game. As cool as can be at the free throw line to tie it. And gives Nebraska the lead back on the second free throw. She's guarding Koulibaly right now. They go out to Rodgers. I think got to get it to her. Rodgers with 10 seconds left. Down one to Barker with five seconds into the paint. No call. No call. And then it looked like Nebraska got the timeout. Have another look at it here from this angle. Looks like feet got tangled up, perhaps. Got tangled up. But no foul called. It went right into the hands there. <laughs> Around and off on the second. Very quick timeout from Joni Taylor. And still 1.4 to go. Sahara Jones will inbound. 1.7. It's Rodgers for the win. Off the mark. And Nebraska survives. The comeback bid from Texas A&M. Big Red is back in the big dance, and they'll march on to the second round to meet Oregon State on Sunday. What a game that had absolutely everything tonight.